I was born in, at the time it was West Germany. I wanted to be an actress since I was, I did a couple of films when I was like 10. And then I played sports, you know, soccer. I was a goalie and I did gymnastics when I was younger and everything. But my first day on the job, you know, they thought it was just going to be this little six week thing. They wanted a crazy person to stalk David Flair. And I was an actress, but I was also athletic. And most actresses, I think that they hired, you know, they're like, can you like fall off the apron or can you do, and they were like, oh, actually. Where I was like, can I? From Dillon, Texas, TNA knockout, Daphne! You've seen her in WCW, you've seen her in TNA, you've seen her in Shimmer and in Shine. She is the second ever woman to hold the Cruiserweight Championship. Daphne, of course you are the WCW Cruiserweight Champ, and tonight you're going to have to defend the gold in a triple threat match against the artist and Chris Candido. Jean, I'm in a really bad situation here. I mean, I said I wanted a ring, not that ring. My dad was in the military for 21 years, and I was born uh, in Wiesbaden, uh, the Air Force Base there, and my brother was as well. I have one older brother. And um, we moved all around the United States, and then he retired to um, Atlanta. While we were um, still in the military, we went and we lived in, I lived in England. It would have been equivalent to second, third, and fourth grade, that I lived in back in Germany, not in Wiesbaden, but at Rammstein, for fifth and sixth grade. So I spent a lot of my childhood growing up overseas. This is my dream. It's athleticism and acting, and I want to do it. Yeah, I'm always typecast as a little bitchy girl that, you know, <laughs> is just mean, and it's not really what I'm like, but I can act like that. Pam, when she got signed, right. she came and stayed with me. And little Pam, who's Bailey now, you know? Right. Like, I still like to call her Pam. And then Nikki Star, Nick. like, Nikki! Yeah. And when she got signed and I said, congrats, Nikki! She's like, oh, Daphne! Oh, thank you so much! It was an accident. Um, it's unfortunate that I'd ended my career with the head injuries, but that's why I tell people to protect that head, man. Now, I'm so concussed. I'm not on social media. It wasn't until much later, and I heard she got death threats, and I was mortified. It like really hurt us both, but in different ways. People really realized the seriousness of concussions, and I'm like, yeah, I was there the night Bret Hart got kicked in the head by Goldberg, and he told me I don't think I'll ever wrestle again, and he didn't. I'm in school now, finally, deciding like through the pandemic and stuff, it was still kind of like, what do you do? Everything's shut down. But i um, getting my second bachelor's in human services. And that was one of the, the job I started this week as a gentleman who has CTE from playing football. He's only 73. And so I'm starting off as a caregiver for him, finishing school, and then a uh, court appointed a special advocate for foster children. I'll be, you know, have a degree for that and just, I mean, just like what it's called, human services. I just want to be a helper. She is just such an iconic character from professional wrestling. She's someone that's always stayed true to this character. And behind the character, one of the nicest, most loyal, wonderful people that you'll ever meet.